welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two really easy Easter crafts. Actually, you could use these out all spring if you would like. But anyway, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make both of them. All right, what do I have here? I have a handful of things. I have some paint. I have this rosemary pick. This came from Walmart. And I also have this saucer and pot also from Walmart. Now listen, if you can't find these in your garden center, then go look over in the craft section. My store has these out right now in the garden center and also over in the craft section. It does not matter what size you get, but just, just for reference, this saucer is 4.25 inches. Now this pot's a different brand. It doesn't have a size on it, but what you want to do is just make sure that the saucer, when you flip it upside down, it fits on top of the pot like this, okay? So, just see if it fits. Now we're gonna take this label off. We're gonna attempt to take the label off. Hold on. So I'm just using this Waverly chalk paint. It's in the color pumpkin. But use whatever orange paint you wanna use. Hold on, let's pour a little bit into the lid here. You can use acrylic paint, just whatever paint. Spray paint, I wish I had some spray paint. Y'all know I'm a big fan of spray paint. But I couldn't find any orange spray paint at my store. They were sold out. You don't even have to paint these if you don't want to, but I wanted to just to make it a little bit brighter orange. So I'm going to paint this whole entire thing, not the inside, of course. You don't need to paint the inside. I'm going to paint the pot and the saucer. All right, I believe this paint has dried. So now what we're going to do, we have some of this ribbon. This ribbon came from Dollar Tree. I used part of this ribbon to tie a tiny little bow. And then we're going to take this and go around the top of our pot. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You leave it off. I just want to give it a little extra something, something, you know. And we're also going to take the pieces of our little rosemary sprig here and glue it right down to the center here. I believe all of these are the same length. Yeah, looks to me like they are. Probably not going to use all these. Hey! All right. I just threw it in the floor. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue this one just straight up and down like so. And then glue the other, whoa, hold that in place. And then to glue the other ones on, I'm just going to take the hot glue and put it in little places just around it. And then stick just a few of the other ones out. I really don't think I'm going to use all of them because that's a good many. These glue strings kill me. So probably just, I don't know, maybe three more in addition to this. Maybe just three around, and then that should be good. So let's work on that. All right, so I think the glue has set up there. I just had to hold those until, let's see. I'm just going to cut this so I don't have to worry about messing with the spool. Let's get that out of the way. I think both sides look fine. And then we're just going to use a little bit of hot glue here and stick this end down and then just wind it around. It should be stuck. I have got this paint all over me, y'all. Look, more glue strings. I swear. Just wrap it around and then glue the end down. Okay, so now we're just going to put a little blob of glue here on the bow and glue that down right there. Go, go gadget nails. I love crafting with long nails. I use them for tools. I have a lot of people say, I don't see how you can do anything with long nails. You're watching me do it. <laughs> and I do have a life outside of YouTube. And in that life, I like long pointy nails. So, but sometimes I do find them quite useful when it comes to stuff like this for holding things in place. Okay. Well, that's pretty cute. And then what would you put in here? Whatever you want to put in here. Um, you put your Easter candy in here. We'll just take this and set it on top. And there is your little Easter carrot candy jar. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, what do I have here? This really cute glass from Dollar Tree. I mean, how cute is that? And we're gonna make like a fake bake, a fake bake, but we're gonna make like a milkshake. So I guess it wouldn't be like a bake. I don't know, shut up, Amber. Anyway. Paintbrush, some orange paint. This is some chalk paint. Now listen, this chalk paint was a little old. So I put some water in it to thin it down. And um, I don't put too much water. <laughs> so now it's kind of watery. 
But anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to paint the inside of our glass here. And I'm going to do two coats, okay? Two thin coats. If this paint has pretty much dried, there might be a little bit in the bottom that has not dried, but it's okay. You're not going to be able to see that anyway because of the bottom here. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on a thin layer of Mod Podge. You don't have to do this, but the reason why I'm doing it is we're going to stuff some stuff down in there just to hold up our topping that we're going to put on it. I'm probably going to use paper towels, but sometimes I use crumpled up paper. And some people have a problem with when they do that, it scratches the paint off of the glass. So if you put a layer of Mod Podge first, it kind of prevents that from happening. So I'm just gonna put on a really, really thin layer and then let that dry. Okay, our Mod Podge is not 100% dry, okay? But I wanna go ahead and continue on with this next step. So what I have here, if I can get it, I have from DAP their Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling, okay? You can get this sometimes at Dollar Tree, but you have to be absolutely sure that you get the lightweight kind. Okay, 30 minute fast drying, you know, if you're using it in a drywall situation. At Dollar Tree, the containers will be very small. And when you pick it up, it's going to feel very light compared to the size of the container. Now, if you use regular spackle, it's going to be way too heavy and it's, it's not going to hold its shape. Okay, so you need the lightweight kind. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, you know, any place like that. Like I said, sometimes you can get it at Dollar Tree. So let's put the lid over here and I have a fork and I dropped some little gold particles in there from when I was doing a Christmas video. But anyway, you can see just how light and fluffy this is. I'll have to get those little particles out, but I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> now I have a piping bag. I'm gonna use this piping bag and this 6B open star tip to put on the topping of our our little fake bake here. So let me get these out and prepared. So I have cut the tip of the bag off. You can see how I cut that off and made that the opening and then put the tip down in there. Whoopsie. I've got moss particles on everything. I'm working with some moss over here and then put this down in the tip. Now we're going to fill this up, not fill it up, but we're going to put some of this in here, let me turn it that way. See, now you can't see all the little particles as much. Okay, so take this and put it in here. I will tell y'all right now, I put way too much in this bag. <laughs> but now you're just going to use it like you would if you were pipe and frosting, okay? Just twist the end so that you can hold it just like you're pipe and frosting. I've had some people say that they can't get the spackling to come out of the nozzle. I've never had that problem. All I can say is make sure, and I know that this sounds silly, but one lady didn't do this. She didn't cut the end off of the piping bag. And then she put the nozzle in there and then she couldn't understand why it wasn't coming out because you didn't cut a hole in the bag. <laughs> anyway, and make sure that you get the lightweight kind. Stir it up a little bit before you use it, okay? Now we're just gonna take paper towels or you can crumple up some paper, whatever you have. I'm just gonna stick down in there and we're gonna use that as the basis to pipe the topping onto, okay? I think that'll be fine. And then the weight of this is gonna to stick to the glass, it's gonna hold all this in, you're not gonna see that you have paper towels in there, okay? Let's get that out of the way. And just pipe it like you would, you know, putting whipped cream on a milkshake. Because that's basically what I'm going for here, like an Easter type milkshake. Let me see if I can do this. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Just make sure you get it down in there just to fill it up first. Doesn't have to be pretty. Now I'll worry about actually trying to make it look decent. Well, maybe I didn't put too much in here. Maybe I didn't. Okay. And I know it looks weird right now, but it's okay. We're going to put some things on there. So now I have these tiny little carrots. Where did these come from? I think these came from Hobby Lobby. Yes, from Hobby Lobby. But I did see some of these tiny little carrots at Dollar Tree. I also have these straws, and I'm not going to use the entire length of the straw. So I'm going to cut some of that off. 
You stick it right down in there. Do you want one straw or two? I guess just the one. Okay, now let's just take some of these tiny little carrots. We'll stick one in the very top there. Just gonna stick a few, however and wherever you want to put a little carrot. Okay, I think that looks okay, but now I wanna put like a little something, something else on here. So I'm gonna take some of this ribbon here. This is like a green, sort of like a gingham check ribbon. And this came from Dollar Tree. Now around the bottom here, mm, I'm gonna try to take some of this ribbon and I'm just gonna tie it around the bottom and then tie a little bow. And I can't tilt this back to show you what I'm doing because then this is not set up and it's gonna fall off. So I'm just gonna cut a piece and tie it around here. All right, I don't think this is gonna fall apart if I tip it back, but anyway, there we go. How cute is that? Just a cute little Easter milkshake, fake bake doohickey decoration. Here's I was sitting around. Might put another carrot right there. I don't know. I don't like that empty space. But anyway, fast and easy. Now let this sit. I'm going to say at least a few hours, okay? This stuff generally sets up pretty quickly. But, you know, if you have cats, dogs, and feral children running around, they might bump it. So just let it sit there for a few hours, and then you can set it out as a decoration. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.